everyone welcome to a new video today we're going to show you how to set up a hp laser g8 500 mf a pm525 to be a network printer on the network so that someone can print without connecting so what you do you can go to your laptop and uh, open your cmd or command prompt CMD C M D yes you get it then you tap there okay I'm sorry then you can go here and say IP say IP config okay when you do that that's when you look for what they call common gateway default gateway this that means the IP for your printer. Then you can see this also, uh, the subnet mask. So you come in and uh, you do this. You you look for settings. To settings. Then you go to network. Then you go to not that one click here then you say ip okay set ipv4 let's see what it says manual setting default we're gonna say manual setting okay once we do that ip address you click there so it should start with the like the dev hello so what you do here you go to IP address because it starts with a 10 it depends on the way your thing works yeah it depends on the way how your default gateway is you start it with those numbers exactly like your default gateway mine goes like this but the old one you can see dot 0.2 this one's gonna be dot 0.100 I'm gonna give it 100 and I say okay after saying okay then I go subnet mask, two five types that doesn't change default gateway. Remember our default gateway is now changed is ten. It's ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Okay. Remember it's ten dot zero dot zero dot two. That's it. So once you're done with that, then you say okay. Okay, so I'm done with everything. So since I'm done, I gave it the machine the, the IP. So I can ping it. If it doesn't ping, then I have to restart the machine. Okay, let me ping that machine. That number ping ten dot zero dot dot zero dot hundred should ping you see it pings so if it pings so it means we can add the printer right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to control panel control look for control when you're on control panel you You add device or printer, click there. Let's search for it. We see Epson. Wait and wait. Okay, we didn't pick up ours. You click here. You just click your find your look what looking for. Well, it's giving me something that I'm not looking for that. Add printers, whatever. Why it did this? Let me go next. 
I'm not supposed to see this. Add a device, okay. Okay, click that, leave that. We go to view devices and printers. So yeah, this is the, the one. Uh, but then we're going to I think edit it. Okay, let's go to let's go to add printer. We try again. If it doesn't work, we're gonna switch off the machine, then we switch on back. Switch it off back. Okay. So um, I got problem with wind. Okay, now fine. This is what I want. Uh, I go to. IP address that's then you say next so then you go here you say say one nine okay you remember it's called ten dot zero dot zero dot hundred okay I wonder why it is this dot hundred 10.0.0.10.0.0.100 yes then you say next okay uh, recommended we use the recommended one okay i'm gonna name it whatever i want okay then i say okay Say next. Then we say I'm gonna print a test page. So you can feel it says it prints it. He has printed a test page. You can see so everything is fine. So since everything is fine, I'm gonna close. Say finish. So you can see this is the machine. So I made it to be a default machine. So I'm gonna have to delete this one remove device say yes okay since i remove device i'm happy and oh that is working so guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and uh, this is the machine we made it to be in the, on network so i hope that helps guys see you in the next video